E aí? Boa noite, diga lá meus queridos. Voltei! Voltamos. Sam Dennis. Nunca que eu vou descobrir, desvendar esse mapa do tesouro. Não abrir isso quente, velho. Caramba, é dica, velho. Blue Water Mesh em San Dennis. Blue Water Mesh em San Dennis. Ah, marcou no mapa, então é isso aqui, né? Legal, velho. Será que dá pra fazer isso? Olha o bonde, olha o bonde. 
Hey, come on, what are you doing this for? Yeah! Long strading. Long guy strading. Que secreta uma carroça. Uma carruagem. Será que eles estão a caminho? Eles estão parados? Apareceu no mapa. Caramba, já chegou metendo chumbo, velho. Caramba, eu puxei a arma, não vem não. Aí, professor, Moonshine na mão. Horrível andar de carruagem. Deixa eu ver uma coisa, só um minuto. Não é possível. Será que tá? Yeah, yeah. 
Easy. man wonderful <laughs> you got my money oh, it's, it's for a very good cause uh, my name is professor andrew bell the third perhaps you've heard of me <laughs> can't say that i have oh i'm an inventor uh, maybe you've read about me <laughs> uh, i don't read much oh, oh mm. well, that's too bad oh yes <laughs> you got my money <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, Chiedo. you, sir, have done a great deal. All deed. I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, do, so, do, so do, humane. What are you talking do, about? Do, do, do. The electric chair. Well, what? O Eduardo aí chegou compartilhando, salve, salve, Eduardo, meu querido. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. Oh, it will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Deixa eu meu cavalo ficou para trás. Cara, eu tô com a máscara ainda. No. No. Caramba. Uh, just clearing out the old cobwebs. <laughs> you have uh, business with the chief, my friend. Vamos pra onde agora? Que que é isso? Pessoa desconhecida, que que é isso? Professor de novo? Ah, vamos continuar então. Vamos lá no chefe de polícia. Tentar convencer ele a conhecer esse professor aqui. Que eu acabei de entregar uma carroça de bebidas.
Não entendo. Cadeira elétrica? <risos> San Denis Police. Velho, eu vou experimentar. Hoje atualizou as paradas aqui. Aí ficou complicado agora com essa captura nova aí. Vou tentar fazer de outro modelo de captura. Ver se melhora pra mim, tá muito feio. Que assim vai ficar um pouquinho melhor pra mim até resolver essa parada. I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. Não é esse cara não? Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, <laughs> an electric chair, and he uh. He wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees. Que isso? Paguei, velho, só pra ver. Okay, well, the price is fair, here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatch. I'll tell <laughs> you, the professor. Good luck. As benevolências do conhecimento. Olha lá, outra missão já tá no mapa. É aqui? Não, é aqui, ó. Caramba, mas é um zigue-zague, né? Acabei de sair do professor, vamos voltar pra ele. Muita gente né, nessa cidade.
on it. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. <laughs> Find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. <sighs> no gentleman. Coming together wonderfully. The final piece of the puzzle. A senhorita está marcada no mapa. Vamos atrás. Mr. McDaniel's, he'll have a place in the history books. Never shall a man. Tá na cidade mesmo, achei que tava fora. É, não é esse aqui não. É aqui, ó. Bibi. Black Belly. Ah, senhor, que patético. Need a doctor. You gotta. Vou ajudar, vou ajudar. You gotta. Tá precisando de médico. Quem nunca precisou, né? Do something. I'll get you help. Just stay alive. Okay. Okay. What's the issue? The Massau. Oh, oh. tá sofrendo, hein? Tenho dó, eu tenho dó. Tá delirando já. Ó, oh, esse rapaz aqui tá rápido, hein? Opa, passa ele. Vai! Arrisquei. Salvar uma vida. Caramba, é muito movimento nessa cidade, velho. É aqui.
que é o colista, o Matthew eu acredito que seja aqui. Aqui? Farmácia? Doutor Theodore Scott. Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. Oh. Right here. You sit him down in this chair. Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. Dinheiro, 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 dinheiro. Opa. There's also the matter of my payment. Caramba, ah, três we'll contos. Right. Right. Lot of blood loss. This wound's badly infected. I'll save as much as I can, but I have to amputate. Ixi, imputar. What did you say? Try to breathe. Uh... I'll give you something for the pain. There you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. Deixa eu ver um pouquinho. E vai amputar, velho. Vixe, vambora, vambora. Vambora. Rapaz do céu. Permissão. Dá o um estouro. Tem que pegar a bandida viva, né? Colocar ela na cadeira, cadeira elétrica. Cadeira elétrica e experimental ainda, por cima. Tô nessa estrada aqui, pare parece que eu tô pegando a Dutra. Não tem nada. Já sento o dedo aqui pra acelerar no último. Na verdade, ela tá por aqui, né? Será que esse lugar aqui? Como é que eu vou abordar essa mulher? Arma na mão, né? to talk to you about Michira. your wild west days. I don't care much for reminiscing. 
You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. She. Ah, those bounty hunters. <laughs> Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right, get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Hold Nossa, aqui vai ser divertido. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, Mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Caramba, tira nela, pô. Tira em Falou. Rapaz, tô ficando bom no tiro. Is that the last of them? Yeah. You got them scalp hunters off your back. Yeah, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that live that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Hmm. Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and... Oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Caramba. Okay, I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Eu achei que ia capturar ela, velho. Não entendi nada. Após defender seu esconderijo do pântano, Blue Water, pistoleiro conhecida como Black Bell, posa para uma fotografia para a biografia de Levin sobre Bay Colônia. Acho 
Fiquei a mandá-lo pra cadeira de... Pra cadeira, cadeira elétrica? Nada disso. Sem Denis. Pera aí, não tinha a missão dos índios, velho? Não lembro de ter feito. Ah, esse aqui que é da cadeira de rodas. Cadeira de rodas na cadeira elétrica. Bora. Eu quero é buscar alguém pra testar a cadeira. Tá. Eu tenho que dar uma saqueada também, né? Quanto corpo. Na verdade, vou aproveitar, eu vou buscar, vou fazer o cara da foto, porque tá na parte de cima, raramente. Eu vou voltar nessa parte de cima, aí depois eu vou lá e pego o cara da cadeira também. Chuva apertando.
Ô louco, velho, mudou o tempo. Nada. Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant. Although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks. Only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. You can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure, wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Bater os cavalos selvagens. Será que eu vou usar o laço? E agora? Missão assim, eu tô ligado. Vou fazer a escoltinha. Satisfeito, homem da foto. You are a genius. No, but I can ride a horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so, how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here. I have a print of the wolves before they try to eat us. Hmm. It's for you. That's real fine. Olha, velho, os lobos, velho, tudo puto com a gente. Take care, Mr. Mason. Essa eu gostei. You too, sir. Boa recordação. You too. Now for a few final checks. Não 
don't mind me. I may be at this for some time. Opa, meu cavalo nesse aqui. There we go. Tem evidência do bandido por aqui, será? McDaniels Não sei, velho. Será que ele tá escondido por aqui? Patético. Arma na mão, né? Arma na mão. Cadê esse cara? Cadê esse cara? Ali Será que me viu? Ixi Caramba, vou morrer. Não sabia quem tava acompanhado, eu achei que ele tava sozinho.
Rapaz, ele tem um bando. Como assim, velho? Não é possível. Ah, guarde tudo. Me viu? Como é que Dennis tá fugindo? Como que eu vou saber qual que é ele? Dele. Droga. Caramba, velho, um bando. Tinha que ter uma estratégia melhor aqui. Tô achando difícil surpreender esse bando, hein? Droga! Tudo conspirando contra, velho.
essa arma aqui não é tão boa a uma distância tão alta. Vou chegar com a arma na mão, mira na cabeça desses desgraçados. Quero nem saber. Chegar... Quem ganha quem atira primeiro. É isso. Caramba, tinha um por trás ali no, ma no mapa. Fica difícil. Droguei agora, velho. Será que dá? Me viu. Baixa, miserável. Caramba, os caras estão com calibre alto, não é possível. Agora eu quero ver, velho. Ixi, sniper. Meu amigo, estão ferrados, velho. Não vai ter pra eles, hein? Eu sou bom de sniper.
Mr. Callaway. Nem sei qual, quem que é o cara, velho. Ele foge ainda. Ela deu a volta. Fugindo a cavalo? Putz. Oh, cara, é difícil. Do meu cavalo? Levanta o cavalo! Putz, grila!
Caramba, bicho. Que cara ligeiro. Acabou a graça. Meu cavalo morreu. Take me to damn court, man. Hmm. Tribo não que nada. Can't raise no animals, take no wife. Sounds like sour grapes. <laughs> you know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Yeah. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. If that's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What the hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd. Maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on to kill you. You may. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. It's got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. But as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. They wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning? Strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across a pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. You know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled, with strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned. Half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no sir. It was light. The electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> é. Cara, chorar me engano já.
Mataram mais um cavalo meu. Ai meu Deus. Calma. O varinho já tava dando coisas. Ah não, vou perder a missão. Cavalo ruim, com a carga nas costas. Ah não, velho. Cadê meus cavalos? Ah não. Não tem nenhum cavalo aqui não. Meu Deus. Ah, tem cavalo aqui. Putz, vou voltar lá do começo. É, acho que aqui não... Foi muito bem, não. Professor, I know. What in the hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get Que isso, velho? Não dá pra enxergar nada no escuro.
Now I'm just gonna check your pockets. Saying? Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly, is what I mean. Nope. Your debt's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you. To kill you. <laughs> Humanely. <clears throat> no! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric oh. current through your system. It's got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can... Pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they hmm. would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? No, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air hmm. smell of burning hair no there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there piled up mangled strange scars across their backs legs and necks it's half like they was burned half like the skin was ripped off no eyes bleeding some of them popped out no if i hadn't seen the storm <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief, but no, sir. It was lightning. The electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Oh, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> Caramba, não dá pra passar. Caramba, não dá pra passar esses caras. Esse cavalo é inútil. Born free, I was born free, God damn you. Ai, volta demais, velho. Ain't America, we ain't free no more. 
can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Não vou por aqui não, cara. Married them, but needed marrying, and killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. You came along and laid waste. <clears throat> Sounds like sour grapes. You know... You ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor. Andrew Bell the third, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's it? Yeah, your professor got to do with anything. Well, he wants to try this. New electricity chair on you. To kill you. You mean? No. Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'd be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Tô indo pelo mesmo caminho agora. Tá passando correndo. Backs, legs and necks. It's half like they was burned. Half like the skin was ripped off. No. Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No. If I hadn't seen the storm, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But no sir. It was light. Electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs>
Esse ponto aqui, velho. Caminho alternativo. Chega de sofrer. Não quero ser surpreendido por bandidos querendo levar minha carga na mão dura. Olha lá. Caramba. Agora sim. Be 
shy now. Let's go. Hmm. Bring here. over here. I got him. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Bring him to me. Now, where's my money? Um, money? <laughs> yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Yes. <laughs> Sumiu. Que carona não? Que de novo? Uma carona, hein? Esse cavalo. Still rolling from the road. Will you wait a second? I'm kinda in a hurry. Get off there. Take a piece of that. Foi mal, senhor. Não! Meu Deus do céu! Acaba o cavalinho. Volta, cavalo. Preciso de você. Ferrou. Thank <laughs> you. 
não creio. Não acredito nisso. O Rafael aí chegou compartilhando a live. Valeu aí, meu parceiro. Momento de tensão, momento de tensão. Tá louco, viu? Sem cavalo é complicado, a gente apela. E agora? Quer andar até aquele lugar? Olha lá. Pegar a cavala do outro lado da cidade. Haja paciência. Passando as cachorras. <risos> Passando as carruagens na corrida. É o jeito. Ufa! Tem uma interroga aqui, hein? Saber o que, que é isso aí? Quem será? Garoto elétrico. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. <laughs> Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? <laughs> no. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, Bobby. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic, <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, <laughs> it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, 
Vou participar dessa brincadeira aí. Hello, sir. Ok. How is the piles? Good, good, good. Ok. My friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. But maybe I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. <laughs> I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. <laughs> Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. It is easy. Any moron could do it. Nossa, fui destruído agora. This and this and don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes. Okay? Yes. Now, now blow up the little battleships and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey! It's doing what I'm telling it! Of course it is doing! Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo! Yeah. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make a drug or shoot the machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not dead. Cleanse my creation of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. If you hit another mine, the boat is kaput. Understand? Hey. hey. <laughs> Damn, that one's gone too. You see what stupid man does? <laughs> stupid man. Pra te palhaçada com a minha cara. Torpedos do not have so much range. I am invisible wave engineer. Not a rocket physicist. Ah, my boat! Oh, this team wave. O barquinho não, não vira, não faz. Ah, velho, the game over no jogo do barquinho, cara. Agora que eu peguei a manha. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleship, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. See what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? Do you misunderstand? This is the secret to life. Not death, the transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that.
torpedoes do not have so much range. I am an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket physicist. Boa. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. Okay. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the. Não era isso a missão? <risos> não entendi, não compreendi a missão. Let me just reload. <risos> This is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to release. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. Please? The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. They just are uh, so not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just oh. rays. How's the kings here? Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course, but what a thing to fund! What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even dim with here. Hey, you really all work on your salesmanship. Ah, Americans! All you think about is sales! I say look out for mines! I assure you, I think probably I am. That's a trick. It's on a rail, it must be. Clearly we have more than one dimwit here. Fumaceiro. You may want to hurry this up. 
I assure you, any defects lie with the operator here, not my technology. O cara é bom, o homem é bom. Não impressionou os caras, sacanagem. Obrigado. Se você estiver em Dover Hill, me dê uma visita. Lá, eu vou realmente me assustar. Eu espero que você me perdoe. Fazer uma missão de verdade, né? A próxima missão é o Dutch já, velho. É o Dutch já. E os irmãos aqui? Dá uma chance pra essa missão antes. Ah, por quê? O que, que eu fiz? Chato, hein, velho. Essa procurada é muito chato. Só porque eu bati boca com uma senhora na rua. Não matei ninguém. Por quê? Eu 
Que cantido? Curte a caré. Cadê a interroga? No salão? Quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? All ass. Mm? Asshole. Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> 
Where were you on your journey? <clears throat> All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I <laughs> thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you paint. Not according to the salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Ah, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. É isso, um papo? Eu achei que o cara ia me entregar uma missão do Arco da Velha. Boy, pera aí, a missão ainda tá aqui, cara. Out of the damn way, senhor. Please, sir, will you help the poor? You, kind sir, will you help the poor? I don't know right now. This isn't right. Look, I said I'm sorry. I'm doing everything I can. Can you help, sir? I so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother. A penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. <sighs> I'm afraid... I... I can't save the poor. Fair enough. You see, I've been poor. The charity... It never did anyone any good. I'm sure. What do I know? I'm just a fool making foolish choices myself. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Hmm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Hello, maybe sir. I'm wrong. I hope I am. But we can't ignore the rumors. Oh. Glad to see you again, sir. Did it? Excuse oh, you. What do you have for me? Hey, you mind your damn step. Yeah, Let me help you out with this. You Watch yourself. Hey, be careful. Hello, sir. Hey, mister. Hey, 
Excuse me. That's nice to hear. Foi mal, foi mal. A pista errada era, era ali. Então, acho, tava achando que era aqui, mas porta verde, pelo jeito, é aqui na frente. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Got a few paintings over there. Something for the wife, maybe? Looking for anything in particular? Well, you just let me know if I can help at all. Just a, a few old books. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please. They made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Ayúdanos. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. Nos deja aquí. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Viva la libertad. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Tô meio com fome, não? Cansado. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Brother, 
Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. É, é sacanagem aí também. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Preciso fazer um descanso, comer um negocinho aqui no jogo. Onde que eu posso fazer isso? Eu achei que eu já tava com essa tal de viagem rápida liberada. Nem pensava, né? Ué, tá de noite? São do Dutch, eu acho que tem que ser de noite. Achei, tem que ser de noite nada. Come on, keep walking. 
You're late. Well, days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? <laughs> Pacific. An untouchable <laughs> paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, uh, no deal, I guess. Man. <laughs> we made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not hey. enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. <laughs> think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. What's up, gentlemen? This is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me. And you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's your choice. Not mine. Kindly open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. I said, open the you need to give me all your money now. It's yours. Pop it. Let's go with this along. We don't have the time for games. Give me your money. It ain't worth dying on. All right. There's everything, okay? There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes! Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave! We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. Ram, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That's greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. All right, shoot us some space, boys. We got more on the right. We got some in those alleyways, Arthur. End up on that balcony. Monte is gonna pay for this. We got some riders on the left. Arthur, help Lenny out there. Arthur, you need to help Lenny now. Get that bastard! Look out! Right! Coming out of the back! Back, back! You must have called in every cop in the city. Outside the saloon! Oh, damn! We are really moving here. Arthur, slow us down! Slow this thing down! I'll try! Things broke. Hold on! Oh.
Três tirinhos, eu morro. Eu dou meia dúzia de tiro nos cara. Os cara tanca o tiro. O cara dá três tirinhos na mim. Sem o chapéu. Pegando fogo.
about me? Just get us out of here. Que furada, hein? Que furada, justo com o Dutch, hein? Justo com o Dutch. Que contrato de merda. Não tinha dinheiro nenhum guardado. Eu acho que estamos claros. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Yeah, and we each got... $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us? What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. Deixou aqui no meio do nada? Eu vou voltar para a base. Vou voltar, vou voltar para a base. Cadê? Chapa base. Caramba, por que que eu fiz isso? Come here, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. 
Arthur. You okay, Dutch? Hmm. Huh? You okay? I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something See? if you bring me the right materials. Distracted, I suppose. Me? Oh. I'm fine. Fine. Just, uh, thinking. You know? Curte a cara perfeita. Ah. 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 Can't have that pot go completely empty. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Arthur, come up here. Just make sure it goes into the pot, Thank you, Arthur. not your pocket. Hello. Doei o couro de jacaré, ruim. Arthur. O que eu tinha vindo fazer aqui mesmo? Acho que é comer e descansar, velho. Dante tá puto, hein? Dante tá puto. Tô a fim de atender o Dutch, hein? O que será que ele tem pra mim? O cara não caiu no chão, pô. Pera aí, vou dar uma ida no meu quarto primeiro. Caralho, esse Dutch aí, puto da vida.
Tá lá com o Dutch. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. Well, what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? But deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules Também concordo. by fear. Now, concordo we pull com that in his cesspit of a town, we're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes into Tahiti. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Grand. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Come on now, boy. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job? Or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but what? 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. They're simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. But keep. Thomas. It is 
Good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other Call night it. we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. He lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Mm. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunty? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why even in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folks sometimes. Cara, tá ficando no fundo, velho. Olha o jacaré. Strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find it. Stop. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? 
There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Oh. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good evening. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. Se, se a gente se arrisca, hein? Pra que isso? Rapaz, essa missão tá com cara de ser longa e eu tô com muito sono. Ok, Arthur, se você aparece assim em casa, você toma a direita. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Hey! Someone there? You in a tree? What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I. No. Okay. Yeah. And uh, where'd this monster swim off to? Back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, 
Who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Ew, I'm you. Oh, boy. I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're going to need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant moss <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Shoots. Ai meu Deus I think he's going shit that is one big old gate Oh your boy doesn't look too good there Here take this try stop the bleeding You're gonna be okay son You're gonna be okay Just thank your old uncle Dutch I heard that Still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think you'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him. Back now. 
Caramba. Parece um pesadelo. Esse jacaré. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little ones are angry. Big ones is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with me. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I don't know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got muscles out here. Well. Rapaz, bela missão. Coisa linda. Porém, ficaremos por aqui. O sono bateu, já joguei bastante. Foram 3 horas e 5 minutos de gameplay. Acho que é o suficiente por hoje. Vou tirar esse resto de dia 7 de setembro para descansar um pouco, porque amanhã tem mais batente. Não tem jeito. Que jacaré... E o jacaré continua vivo, hein? Atirei nele pra caramba. Mas o danado ainda tá vivo. Tenho certeza disso. E é isso então, vou nessa. Mas antes... Eu tenho que agradecer a rapaziada que colou aí na live, tá até agora assistindo. Eduardo Santos, Jonathan Henrique, Rafael Aziz, que deixaram as curtidas no, na live de hoje. Muito obrigado por você também que acompanhou ao vivo e por você que vai assistir o VOD da live. É isso aí. Amanhã tamo junto de novo. Amanhã é quinta. Amanhã é dia de fazer uma mudança de jogo. É um pouco de Marvel's Avengers. Quinta-feira é um dia sagrado que tá fixado com Marvel Avengers. Se tiver uma turminha lá, a gente joga. Se não, a gente vê uma outra coisa aí pra fazer. Mas essa semana promete, hein? Sexta-feira vai ter anúncios, T23, com anúncios de jogos de Star Wars, de animações da Disney e um pouco mais de Marvel. Teremos novas novidades sobre jogos da Marvel. E sábado as novidades sobre os filmes da Marvel. Vai ser lindo demais. Eu que gosto bastante. Vou ficar contente em acompanhar as novidades. E você? Então é isso. Tenha uma boa noite, galera. Até a próxima stream. Valeu, falou. Fui.